Tensions between Israelis and Palestinians in Jerusalem have been running high for weeks. As Israeli police battled Arab stone throwers recently in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood, right-wing extremist politician Itamar Ben-Gvir showed up and drew his pistol. He tweeted that Jewish blood matters and that police should not be constrained by the government from shooting Arab terrorists. Ben Gvir's Jewish Power Party is running in the November 1st Israeli elections, together with two other far-right parties, in a joint slate called Religious Zionism. If polls are correct, Religious Zionism is on track to become Israel's third largest party. Many analysts see Ben Gvir as a potential kingmaker who could enable former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to return to power and form a right-wing religious coalition, with Ben Gvir as a cabinet minister. I want Bibi to be the prime minister, and I want to be in that government. I want to pull the government to the right, a true right, one that loves people, children and women, a right that defends the weak who are attacked. Ben Gvir is a disciple of the late Mayor Kahana who believed in transfer, or forcing Arab citizens out of Israel. Kahana's Kach party was outlawed in Israel and the U.S. as a terrorist organization, and Ben Gvir himself was convicted of racist incitement. But he says he has moderated his views. The strong left had done great on branding him as an extremist. But in most cases, this is just fake news. Uh, if you take a look, close look at his interviews, at this campaign, he doesn't say anything about uh, transfer, about Kahana's views, or any other views that the uh, hard lefters are trying to brand him under. Several U.S. politicians and American Jewish leaders warn that Ben Gvir as an Israeli government minister will cause tensions with the U.S. administration and American Jews. The core strength of the U.S.-Israel alliance is our shared democratic values, the values enshrined in our respective declarations of independence. Um, and the notion of an extremist like Ben Gvir essentially representing a senior face of the Israeli government would severely undermine that. Ben Gvir's growing popularity seems part of a worldwide trend of ultranationalists gaining power. I think the answer about what happened in Israel and in Europe is the, uh, is the national uh, mood, the need of the uh, population to be uh, separate from other groups, immigrants in Europe or in Israel, the Arab uh, population. Some election observers say that electing Ben Gvir means the end of Israeli democracy. Others contend that Israel is still a strong democracy as it prepares for the fifth election in under four years. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, Jerusalem.